One of the powerful tools available in Unreal 5 is the animation mirroring. Uh, you can use it uh, in uh, sequence, like I will show you just right now here. And you can pick this animation to the normal anim sequence, and you can also use it uh, dynamically inside an anim blueprint. So let's let's look how it works. First, as you can see, it mirrors the the pose. Of the character the direction where it goes but it also mirrors curves sync markers etc you cannot see here now if you want to use this feature first you need to define a, a mirror table which describes how the characters should be mirrored to say like left arm should be swap switched swap it with the right etc and uh, to do this it's very easy you go to animation mirror data table and you choose the skeleton now you have here a normal data table which is already pre-filled for you with the uh, with the entries so we can see for example that clavicle l is mirrored to the clavicle r and if you scroll a little bit lower clavicle r is mirrored to clavicle l and and so on so all the things uh, that ends by L are mirrored to the R and vice versa. And on the end you see also the curves are mirrored, etc. And animation modifies, etc. And how does it know this? That's because it has a set of rules a regular expression that say like if uh, a name of the bone of a or a curve starts with a r we will replace it with a curve started with a l and there is also more complicated regular expression if there is a left in the name etc so this way it fills this this table for you from the skeleton and it's made like uh, that so it matches the standard Unreal skeleton without any problem but you can also add your own for example if you want to add a sync marker which is not added by default because it doesn't match those rules you you create a new row and you say like a I want to add I want to switch those two LC and RC and then have also do make the opposite etc and you can and it can mirror bones notifies curve sync markers and something called custom but I don't know what it is and now we have defined this i have already defined another one which is a little bit more more complicated it fits my curves etc so here i have a little bit more stuff i have some other curves 
sync markers that I use. So uh, how do you use it with the uh, with the sequencer? It's really easy, most easiest way to use it. So you you have your uh, you create a level sequence, and uh, you add an animation that you want to mirror, and then here in properties you choose the table. If you don't choose the table, it plays the original animation if you choose one we can use the one we just created it will play the mirrored animation then if you want to really bake this animation into a new anim sequence to use it later in your anim blueprints or so where else you bake like normally in sequencer you will go here just say bake animation sequence and put it somewhere like here like walk mirror or I don't know walk right with some options bake it And then here you have it. And that is the mirrored, mirrored walk left, which is now walking to the right. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, something is missing here, but I think it's, it will be fixed later. Uh, Fix it later when the uh, Unreal 5.1 1 releases. What is missing is the sync markers right now. So we can just copy it from here and paste here. And then just reverse the order. But as I understand, it will be it will be working in the final version. So that's the uh, second way. And the third way is to use it dynamically in your anim blueprint. So we have this anim blueprint here and we have the walk cycle which is managed by blend space and the uh, walk left is our original animation then the walk right is the one I mirrored uh, like I just showed you and the, another way is to use uh, the mirror directly here dynamically without creating new anime instances and for what we'll, for this we will just take the uh, left work and search for mirror and as you can see it, it directly uh, suggest us to mirror it with the compatible tables so we choose this one here you can see the table is here you can still change it you can create an, a new one and then you can also switch the mirroring during runtime time if you don't use here and uh, here you have a blend time in case you change it you switch it on off so it will take some time to blend and you can choose what you what to mirror bone curve attribute 
then sync marker is not here but works too and then let's take a look let's first check how it how it's supposed to work so that's our walk cycle you can walk left and then let's debake it mirror it animation to the right now we can also use a dynamic mirror without baking so take the left turn and mirror it here and now we can see left and it works very good too now if i want to check it a little bit more in depth i can run the rewind debugger just made another video about it you can check it in the description so i will uh, inspect how it works i will play record some anim so going right then going left straight and right and that's it now you can see here you can open the graph to see that's our walk so here it's the mirrored one and uh, let's see so here we we can see the animations of walking and the sync markers first we're going forward and a little bit left that's no actually forward a little bit right and then here we're going left and there we're going right so you can see it shows different uh, values for those animations unfortunately it takes the the, the original name unlike the sequencer it doesn't say it's mirrored but it still work pretty good i i hope it's also fix it in the in the final version in the release and here you can see when we go when we go right we have all those cur curves that appears correctly are mirrored you don't see any discontinuity and uh, well there is a little bit more strange things that sync markers despite the fact that they seem to work good because they are perfectly synchronized they show for this left contact it's the correct and then again it show left contact again i think that it's just a problem like with those names it doesn't take into account the fact that are they are mirrored but otherwise it works pretty good so i i use it use them and i think it's a very cool and powerful tool uh, that's it for this video thank you for watching and bye